let's let's talk about somebody that this this one we may not want to talk about, but I I think it is uh, important for us to discuss. West Virginia twenty nine, TCU seventeen. Post game win expectancy here, uh, West Virginia sixty one percent, and they dominated the football game. And they they really did the the fact that this was only sixty one percent post game win expectancy kind of surprised me. Yeah, it but is. Neil Brown now is three and against Gary Patterson. That is certainly not good. Patterson uh, has a top ten salary and has not cracked eight wins or has not has not even made it to eight wins since the 2017 season. He went 11-3 and three that year, won seven the year after that, and et cetera. You, you know what's happened since. This is... Jared Dagey is not a good quarterback, and instead of, you know, handling him like they should, he went 21 out of 28 for 257 yards. They let Letty Brown run 24 times for 111 yards and three touchdowns. West Virginia had not run for 100 yards in a game in three straight games. Like, I'm talking the entire team, not just Letty Brown. Like, their offense had been completely shut down by everybody that they played, and then they get to go on the road to TCU and can't do anything. Like, Max Duggan had two interceptions. This was, I just, I don't know what to make of TCU anymore. They're three and four. Uh, I, I know, I take that back. I know what to make of them. They're just not a very good football team. And I... At, at what point do we start to question, okay, like, is it is it that point where Seth said, uh, love what you guys are doing, love the show from San Antonio, they have to pay Jeff Trailer or someone will. Uh, a lot of people bringing up Jeff Trailer for this TCU job because they kind of assume that GP is on his way out. And yeah. I don't know that he is because I don't, like, maybe. <laughs> I mean, I t- I don't. I don't know what to make of this. I don't know what to do because Patterson is a legend. He's been there for two decades, and he's he brought the highest of the highest. He's the one that got him into the Big Twelve, and yet they are not a good football team. They are not well run. The defense, what he is known for, is not good. So what do we do here? I mean, what what would you do with Gary Patterson? Uh, I might have a long talk about him stepping down. He, they built a statue to this man. It is it, there's that's a okay. statue Gary, outside of the stadium. That, okay, and, right, I understand. That's fine. I, and just, you don't forget what you've done. But when you've been somewhere for twenty years, sometimes it's just time for a change. Okay, maybe it's time to just hang it up. Maybe the game has passed him by, which is crazy to think about. Because it's it was not crazy to think about. It happens to everybody. It was it was not that long ago that we were talking about Gary Patterson for the LSU job. Like yeah. But I, that would have been that would have been a bad hire now. Yeah, it's it's crazy to think about. Crazy to think about. I just I, I never would have imagined that we would have gotten to this point with Gary Patterson, and yet here all, we are. All good things end badly, Gary. At some point in time, your beloved tide it's going to end badly. Oh yes. All right. We'll look oh, at yes. Clemson. It's it's starting to fall apart, and if they have another season like this, Dabo going to get to coach a treatment, and it's going to end badly. That's just what. None of these things. Everybody sticks around too long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're 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 right. You're 100 percent right. West Virginia had 487 total yards to only 393 for TCU. I love Gary. You know that. Yeah. TCU uh, lost the turnover battle three to nothing. Three to nothing, and that will definitely uh, not get you where you want to go. But uh, but Neil Brown three and zero against Gary Patterson. He he doesn't consistently beat anybody else in the Big Twelve, but he. Certainly handles TCU anytime he's given the opportunity. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.